So this is Adam with Mountain King Survival. I've wanted to do a video for a while about caloric equation and the food types that you take with you to the forest, or even the food types that you put up in your pantry, the non-perishables that you accumulate when you're getting ready for a long-term situation to where you don't know when you'll be able to get more. So one staple that, uh, that I take with me all the time is olive oil, cooking oil. So, and this will just, I'm gonna make several videos, I believe, on caloric equation and actually the equation of the meal that you're creating. You know, adding the components as you create your meal. Just get a, an idea of your calorie intake. So, and meeting the needs that you need, even for a, say, <clears throat> high burn daily activity situation that might not be your normal. On the back of this olive oil, it tells you that there's 34 servings in this at 120 calories a serving. So that means that this bottle right here is 4,080 calories, 4,080 calories. So that's one reason why being a calorie dense uh, food source and also like mixing up your dishes when you're in the forest, like being really creative with what you create. Uh, cooking oil definitely is one that I go to and I like uh, olive oil really well. So, so that's that when what, something else to consider is how you transport your olive oil. And I'm not a fan of this bottle. Uh, the caps come off really easily, therefore dumping all your oil in your pack. And when it gets really cold, this turns into, looks like green bacon grease. Lord, bacon lard, you know, when it, when it solidifies back. When bacon grease turns back to its white state, this turns into a green state of something similar. So, and what you have to do is put it close to the fire to turn it back to its liquid state so you can use it. So that's part of your food prep in a cold situation is thawing your olive oil. So one thing that I've done before that I like doing is using a thick glass jar, bottle I suppose, to transport my olive oil. So what I've done in the past is I'll remove in that cold environment Remove that lid and then set that bottle close to the campfire or the wood stove and it'll thaw and you can use it. So it's robust enough that I can carry it in my pack without it busting. So I really don't have to worry much about that. And it's also the correct container for the thawing process versus trying to do it with this, which just isn't gonna work. Anyway, so most of you probably know this affectionately as a bootlegger bottle. And I boiled, well, I microwaved this bottle in a dish of water, honestly, to peel the labels off of it and then microwaved it again, uh, boiling water inside of it to prep it for uh, this application. But anyway, super simple, gives you a reason to buy a bootlegger and then recycle the bottle into a very functional olive oil carrying vessel.